Good morning, good morning. Are you already dirty? Look, we got boxes of things. So we've been trying to upgrade the shop slowly by getting new things and trying to maximize our 24 by 25 square foot feet dimension garage. I think it comes out of 600 square feet. Are you like cleaning me as I'm doing this? And now we get to open this box. So this from Rogue Fab, uh, Rogue Fab. And if you look over in this position in the garage right here, I no longer have a bender. That's because I went to Shade Tree Mechanical. Awesome dude. He was on Miles Mayhem with us, with DD Speed Shop. I'll pass you a knife, just don't point it at me. And we get to open this box. It's really heavy. I'm, I'm gonna bet this box is like 150 to 200 pounds. Where'd my pocket knife go anyway? It's on top of the welder. I'm gonna slide that in my pocket for later. <laughs> wow. We gotta get the good shots. Good content. Uh, oh my god, you almost stabbed your fingers. No, I didn't. Like, I'd probably be better off using my pocket knife, to be honest. How old is this blade? Okay. Same age as you. I'm not that old. You're older than me. <laughs> not even. <laughs> You're using your pocket knife? For real. Get that pocket knife out. Show me how big your. Oh. Here, give me your blade. Wow, it's. No, eight. look. That's seven inches, that blade. Mm. Seven man inches, three women inches. Yeah. Wow, that that's a lot of pieces. Yeah. This is like adult Legos. Over there. Oh, come on. I'm trying to keep the garage clean. Dude, there's a box inside the box. <laughs> oh, we got Decknels. Okay, hey, something like this I actually want to read the instructions on because uh, generally I don't, but I don't want to mess this up if we're welding it. Dang, that's a fancy die. That's like a full circle die too. So my old ones were only 90 degree dies, so I can only do 90 degree bends, and I bet you we can do like a 180 degree, degree bend with these. Piece of candy. Dang, that is super shiny. I gotta get them while they're clean though. Gina bought TIG welding gloves. I did, look. This, this, pretty small for my hands anyways. But now you be professional TIG welder. Wow, professional. Master welder Gina here today. Nailed it. No, now we gotta, tacked it. We gotta flip it over. Yeah, she tacked this whole thing. I did, well, except for like the first one you showed me, I suppose, but. All right, now time to flip it over because there's stuff we have to weld on the bottom side. What's the next, bad lady? The front brace. All right, so we have to go ahead and weld washers on the inside of this plate before we weld the plates onto the front here. Once again, I'm not gonna do it. Gina's gonna do it. The alien trash kitty. <laughs> Yay.
All right, after much finagling and tack welding, I did so much work, I'm like, I'm beat right now. We got something that looks something like a bender so far. I believe the next step is we actually have to weld the thing completely up. Okay. I think. You mean I get to practice welding is basically what you're telling me? Yeah. So it turns out that we have to weld basically almost everything. You gotta plug weld all these holes. You gotta weld all this seam right here, all this seam, all this seam. You don't have to do the inside seams though, right? Like that would be hard. No, 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 the outside seams. Like pretty much everywhere that's easy. Get some practice in now if you want it. I guess so, yeah. I'll cut up some rod and you can uh, get to welding. Okay, I went ahead and I welded all the underside. As you can see, it penetrated through uh, a lot of spots here. I left a lot of the top side easy welding to get at for V when she comes back out here. But I, I did get a lot of the underside stuff done in the little tight, stupid places where you dip your tungsten all the time by accident. It would have just taken her forever if she would have had to like resharpen her tungsten all the time. And I think this was a real good investment for the shop because it is a vertical bender. It takes up less room. We'll have to build a little bit of a dolly system to put it on top of because I kind of need my welding table back after. I like it. We're trying to be a little bit more sophisticated so we can do more fun builds. Oh baby. This thing is starting to look like a big ass thing. Holy. Um, we also have to add our hydraulic ram in here. But uh, this is beefy now. Dang, I didn't think it was this big. But it ain't matter how big it is because it's gonna be bending vertical instead of like into cars and stuff like I used to do. This might be the most important piece of this entire build and you cannot forget this piece because this piece protects your deck nulls. And you don't want to ruin your deck nulls because if you ruin your deck nulls then they're ruined forever. One right here, the angle one, goes on the outside of this piece. And you gotta weld these here so you don't scratch up your deck nulls. It's a Decknell Scratcher Anti-Resistant Theft Insurance. Oh my god, it's Gina. It's me. You can do some welding? Yeah, yeah. Boom. Gina's finishing up the last of the welding here, so finish off these seams. I'm doing the all the outside. easy seams. You gotta do all the hard seams, cause like I tried doing one and I was not very good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> comes with time, comes with time. She just did this one, so it's not like, it's not like it's bad welding. Well, this is mine. This was yours when you first did it, and this is mine again. You're definitely getting more penetration than me. Is that bad? No, it's good. I'm just setting up these to get ready to be painted because we picked up some paint and Gina, being the artist that she is, gonna paint it. I want to make it um, a Dragon Ball themed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my now. god, that's middle class fancy right there. What? Starbucks. Yes. <laughs> sugar, -free, sugar free syrup and almond milk substitute. I feel like I did a good job on those because they were up and they were gapped. I went upwards. That was my first time doing an upwards one. So well then. It would look a lot cooler too if uh, we had a bigger gas lens on there. What does that mean? Using more argon. It would come up more like a shiny color than a dull color. Oh, I see. Good job. Thanks. All right, we getting high in here now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Next level. All right, we've got our artist V here. Gonna prime these, we're gonna prime this as well, mm -hmm. and then start throwing some paint on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna read the instructions because there is one piece here that I have no idea where it goes. I mean, it's this piece. You're supposed to be reading instructions. I went on our primer run because uh, we totally. We totally underestimated how much primer we needed, so instead of one can, we're on like three cans now. But uh, it should look cool in the end, hopefully. Hopefully. My finger is like, it's cramping up. You think I'd be good at this motion, but I'm not. Are you ready to see what this is gonna look like? What if it looks like poop? I guess it looks like poop. That's yellow. That is a bright yellow. <laughs> I'm 
mean, technically, Dragon Balls are kind of orange, are they not? So that's the inside, right? I think so, yeah. I feel like it has pretty good coverage, but it also is because we have... Like, that's like, look at me, I got a small wiener yellow. Not, not untrue. Boom! Yeah, Red right. bender, literally almost the same color as the walls. I know, it kind of blends Maybe in. Maybe if I go on the other side, you can see it with the light a bit better. Maybe we should get another can of yellow because, uh, yeah, you definitely have missed some spots, but it's got really good coverage. But maybe we should put like some little yellow racing stripes on. Yellow racing stripes? <laughs> you so it doesn't blend into the wall so much. You have an airbrush kit downstairs that you could really paint like a, whatever you wanted on the side of it. I'm not like super experienced with my airbrush kit though, so I don't Even know. if you did your hand paints too on the side of this. Acrylic would work, I And think. then you could just clear coat over it too if you wanted. It's like the first thing that we put together that we actually like tried to make look nice too. Half decently nice, yeah. Still needs some more red. It's still, the, the red's yeah, got I way just, better coverage than the yellow. We should have bought another yellow. I put a light base coat on this one. Mm -hmm. Dang, it's not coming out bad at all. We need to go buy more yellow paint though. Yeah, we did. So I've been down to the store three times now to buy paint extra primer and then extra yellow yeah i'll flip it so we can see how dumb it looks on the other side now i'm going to use the rest of the red on this thing just to give it as much paint as we can and then we get to assemble it Yay. it's cool because the cylinder is right too We scratch it already. Look at this. I spent all that time painting this goddamn yellow paint. They probably should have went black. We probably should have powder coated it probably. Oh wow. But yellow, the yellow and red looks so good though. It did look so good. So I believe this piece right here was that hole. Oh, so like this goes back this way? Yeah. All right, I think we got it. The paint, definitely not a successful venture. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a Pac-Man chewing your face right now. <laughs> so we have our, like, this piece in here, the rollers inside, and then there's a roller right here. So technically, we could put a piece of pipe in this and test it okay. just to see if it makes a bend. Boom! Look at all them technals. Woo! Legit. We didn't put the roll pad ones on yet. I didn't know where to put them. Anyways, we got a piece of one inch pipe in there. We're gonna do a test bend with our jank ass air compressor that probably can't keep up. So I need you to twist that knob. This? Yep. Left? Nope, all the way, tighten. You didn't say, for the record. And now we'll fire this thing up. It's gonna be loud. <laughs> now it's not, it's not full yet, but when I do this thing, it should go, it should go to like pump this hydraulic ramp. Listen. That is officially way faster than my other one. We're at 45 degrees. To get to 45 degrees on the old bender, it would have taken at least 12 minutes. And that was like a minute. Really? With our small compressor. So that is much, much better. Um, I'm not gonna completely ruin this piece of pipe because it might come in handy. Um, it's $10 a feet. Essentially with this one, because it's a 360 degree die in the middle in here, you can do 180 degree bends as soon as this ram runs out, you lock this pin up here, right here, when it gets to right here. So you block that one, you pull this one out, the ramp slides back, and then uh, there's another little bump, like right in here somewhere, that you connect the ramp to, boom, 180 degree bend, one shot. Every Rogue Fab bender comes like that. Dang, that's pretty slick. Pretty slick, isn't it? And look how much space, that's like way less space than my old bender. The old bender, like you put a piece of pipe in it and it would start swinging out and like hitting the cars and shit. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Is that why there's so many nicks in my paint? No comment. I played the fifth. But huge shout out to Rogue Fab for helping us get hooked up with this mad beast of a thing. Um, Roguefab.com. Make sure to check them out. Appreciate Gina for coming out here helping me build this thing and painting it, even though the paint. I'm an assistant now. She is the assistant. Assistant welder. Assistant welder. AlienTrashKitty.com. You can check her out on all her socials. We'll be probably live gaming later on tonight. Mm -hmm. Twitch.tv slash AlienTrashKitty. There you go. Peace easy. Get that V.